What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you guys like wrestling, definitely consider subscribing to this channel. With this channel, I want to add way more wrestling content to it. So if you're a wrestling fan, definitely consider subscribing. I'm sure you guys can tell by the name of the video. I'm be giving my Money in the Bank predictions. I think it's going to be a great card. A lot of great matches on here. Anyways, let's jump into these predictions. First up, we got the Men's Money in the Bank ladder match. We got Ricochet versus Shinsei Nakamura versus LA Knight versus Santo Escobar versus Butch versus Demian Priest versus Logan Paul. Um... I'll, a lot of people want LNA to win this match. You know, he's very over right now. Every week he comes out, it seems like the crowd's getting, the reactions are getting louder and louder. And I saw a report on Twitter that WWE is very high up on him at the point where they want him to win this match. So I won't be surprised if he wins, but I think it'd be a little too obvious if he wins. A little bit too uh, predictable if he wins. That's why I'm going with uh, Demi Priest in this uh, match. I got Demi Priest winning this match. Um, I think Demi Priest just needs a break away from the uh, Judgment Day. I, I, he needs to go on his own, go on a solo run. Um, I think you know, he has what it takes to be World Heavyweight Champion. Hence why I'm uh, predicting him to win this match. But no one doubt that we, I won't be surprised if they... Uh, have Logan Paul win this match. I know with him being one of the biggest celebrities uh, in the world right now, and having him winning the money, the bank would be absolutely huge. Um, but I got Demi Priest, but I won't be surprised if either LA Knight or Logan Paul wins. The next, we got the uh, Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. We got Selena Vega versus Becky Lynch versus uh, Zoe Stark versus Bailey versus EO Sky versus Trish Stratus. Um, <clears throat> right off the bat, I'm uh, having EO Sky, predicting EO Sky to win this match. Just like Demi Priest, she needs a breakaway from Bailey. EO Sky needs to go on her own and uh, go on a solo run. I think she's going to make a tremendous uh, no, women's champion. Uh, if she ends up does winning this match. No, uh, Becky Lynch doesn't need it. She's in rivalry with Trish Stratus. Trish Stratus always, obviously doesn't need it. And Zoe Stark, it's way too early for her to win this match. Um, but when I see Selena Vega win, but I got uh, EO Sky winning this match. The next up, we got uh, Cody Rhodes versus Dominic Mysterio. No, in my opinion, you know, Doc Mysterio has improved a lot lately. You know, I just the heat he's getting from the crowd is absolutely amazing. Um... I actually have Dominic Mysterio winning this match. I think you no know, Dominic Mysterio needs a big win in his career, and this will definitely be it. I got Cody uh, Rhodes uh, losing this match due to the fact that I think Brock Lesnar is going to show up and distract Cody Rhodes. So I got uh, Dominic Mysterio winning this match due to the fact that Cody Rhodes is going to be distracted. Uh, to Brock Lesnar coming out uh, to finally set up the third and final match between uh, Cody Rhodes and Brock Lesnar probably at SummerSlam. Uh, the next we got Seth freaking Rollins defending the World Heavyweight title against Finn Balor. Uh, it's way too early, way too early for uh, Seth freaking Rollins to, uh, to lose the World Heavyweight title. So I got Seth Rollins retaining the World Heavyweight title over Finn Balor. But I don't just see uh, yet uh, having him uh, get to be cashed in on. Uh, just too early in his reign to drop the title. Uh, next up, we got the uh, match I'm really looking forward to. The Bloodline, uh, Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa versus Jimmy and Jay. Uh, the Usos. Um, <clears throat> what a storyline this has been. No, the Usos finally turning on Roman Reigns is a long time coming. Um, just the whole Bloodline storyline has been amazing. Um, it would be nice to see the Usos win, but uh, I got you no know, Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa winning this match. Um, Roman's got the last laugh. I won't be surprised if he pins both Jimmy and Jay to win the match. So I got the uh, Bloodline winning this match. Then we got Ronda Rousey and Shayna Blazer defending the women's tag team titles against Liv Morgan and Raquel Gonzalez. Technically, uh, Liv Morgan and uh, Raquel Gonzalez never lost the uh, women's tag team titles due to Liv Morgan being hurt. She just came back last Friday. Um, it's too early for um, Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler to drop the women's tag team titles. So I got uh, Shayna Baszler and uh, Ronda Rousey retaining the tag team titles over Liv Morgan and Raquel Gonzalez. The next up, we got Gunther defending the Intercontinental title against Matt Riddle. And Gunther, ever since coming to the main roster, is just amazing matches each and every single week. Just not to the main roster. Ever since he's been in the WWE, NXT, NXT UK, each match he puts on each and every single week is an amazing match. Um, he's definitely going to be Honky Tonk, uh, Honk Tonk Man's IC title reign. Um, I got Gunther retaining over Matt Riddle. I just, <clears throat> he has to beat the, our uh, Title Reina. He has to beat the Reina, uh, Honky Tonk's man Reina at this point. So we got Gunther retaining the title. Anyways, guys, that's my predictions. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, let me know what match you're looking forward to. Let me know who some of your predictions. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, if you're a wrestling fan, definitely consider subscribing. You guys will be seeing me way more now. Have a good one. Enjoy the pay per view or live event, premium event, whatever you want to call it. Enjoy it.